Joe Capricorn, and welcome to the story of You Are, the story of I Am, the 2020 Planet Waves mid-year reading. My name is Eric Francis Coppolino, here with a look at your solar chart, and uh, your solar chart as it is manifesting between now and uh, the end of 2020, uh, when, among other things that happen, your ruling planet Saturn leaves your sign and enters Aquarius <clears throat> and uh, is accompanied by Jupiter leaving your sign and entering Aquarius. And uh, th these are what I would consider positive developments. You can't always look at the astrology and say, oh, that's good and that's bad and all that, but in this case, uh, I, I think that you will be happy with, um, with, with these movements. Uh, and this is partly because the um, pressure on you has been incredible this year. Uh, going back to late 2017, there's been just this unusual, um, let's say, uh, it's 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 a combination of a of a kind of a, a weight and what might be a motivating drive, and then if we go back to two thousand and eight, the beginning of two thousand and eight, when Pluto arrived in your sign, that really is when uh, the the life that you are now living has its roots, and um, what is finally starting to. Uh, you know, fade, fade out in, into something else as the emphasis of the planetary picture moves from Capricorn to Aquarius. Um, much of the planetary activity of the past couple of years has been in Capricorn, particularly of, uh, of, of 2020. And your sign has been the scene of a series of rather rare conjunctions uh i'm very unusual to have them happen in one sign in one year four of them uh one that you may be aware of the conjunction of saturn and pluto that took place on a rather momentous day in the history of the current planetary shit show the 12th day of january uh, Saturn, the, uh, the, the, the great ringed planet that rules your sign, and Pluto, the distant, uh, incredibly beautiful anti-planet at the edge of reality, which has been in your sign since 2020, uh, 28, 2008, it's now 2020, um, formed a one-time-only conjunction which is approximately a 36 or 37, I keep forgetting, year event. The last time it took place was in uh, maybe longer, 1981 or 82 or something like way back at the beginning of the Reagan administration, remember Ronald Reagan, uh, in, in Libra. And so uh, this is a truly generational conjunction. Um, and th th that means that it is very rare that only a few of these have happened in living memory. That is to say, among we the living, uh, very few of them have happened. And that uh, when one happens, it is a big deal. And when it happens in your sign, uh, it's especially significant. And it, it, it is also indicative of uh, be, being under a certain uh, kind of pressure and, and a pressure to change and maybe uh, even feeling like uh, you thought you were stretched to the breaking point uh, in 2018 and then you really thought you were stretched in, in 2019 and then suddenly uh, the the intensity goes up even more in, in, in 2020. And then... Um, uh, the, the door opens to all this uh, crazy stuff, and and it all, all of this crazy stuff has a connection to your sign, uh, and it, it will be interesting to parse out the ways in which the uh, astrology manifests for you locally in a, in a way that expresses something different from what the astrology in Capricorn is uh, is is manifesting for the world. Mm -hmm. 